right, y'all. Y'all know we had to do it. We had to come out to the, the bigger area and part two of this run. So I figured go ahead and get out here, try to get in here early uh, in the morning and try to get this run in. But you guys see GPS is catching there. I did not charge these batteries, but um, as I kind of showed in the first video or part one of this, these are some 9,000 milliamp 4S LiPos. So the link's in the description for these. So I should still have plenty of juice in these. Um, the little bit of load I put onto it may have made the batteries go down just a little bit, but it still should be fine. And then you guys know that I did run into um, the side of the wall there, kind of slid. Uh, but I think everything should be good with this. But anyway, let's get this going. I'm just curious to see if we're going to get higher than 90 miles per hour with this. So we'll walk this out. We should be pretty much good with everything else. Yep, GPS is still catching. You guys see that? Five miles per hour. Got it upside down. But you guys see that it's catching right there. So let's go ahead and let's see what he's going to do. He should be pretty much good to go. Shouldn't need too much space. I love this area because I can open all the way up. Yes, we can get full speed. Bring this on back down. I love it. Wide open. All right, bring this on back down. Let's see what we got. Hopefully we beat that 90 miles per hour. I don't know, what do you guys think? Sucker's cruising. Oh, oh no, my body came off. How did that happen? <laughs> Hopefully GPS is still on there. So let's get down here and check and see what's going on. Oh, I thought I heard a snap when I put it on here, but uh, maybe not. Um, I don't know what we got speed wise, but it happens. I think one of my dog bones is kind of somewhat bent on the right side as I'm looking at this walking. Uh, but anyway, let's see what we got speed wise with this. And I'm still using the stock TQI radio which is getting good reception out here, which is good. Hopefully it did not come off. No, it didn't. Oh, but the GPS is acting up. Look at that. We're gonna have to, let's see if we can get this to pick up what it got. Cause that's gonna kind of suck if I gotta go through and run that again. Yeah, this thing has been crashed a couple of times and I don't know, hopefully that's trying to tell me 96. All right, we're gonna have to run this again, which sucks. Um, so let me get this set up and we're gonna run this down one more time. All right, y'all, we are gonna try this again. GPS, seven miles per hour. That RC monster's coming in, you know what we top speed with this and it's trying to kick up too but we're gonna run it anyway it would kick up as soon as i get right here and i don't have my microphone so anyway let's go it's going it's going let's see what we got batteries have been run several times but like I said, we should be all good. Apologize about the wind. Let's see if we beat that 90. And my GPS is just, oh my gosh. This is really taking me off. It's been damaged a couple of times. There we go. 93. That's good. I didn't trick nothing. <laughs> some, some of you guys probably think, oh man, he, he tricked it or something. It's It's been damaged and hit so many times. But let's try this again. As soon as I stand up, the wind starts blowing again, so I do apologize about that, y'all. I want to see if we can get this 95 miles per hour. I doubt it. Got a lot of weight on here. We could kill some weight a little bit, but let's go again and see. Because he's doing good. Nope. <laughs> that means we're going to stop. <laughs> That's why my GPS don't work good. <laughs> The GPS might have fell off somewhere. I hope it didn't. Oh, it didn't. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> that's why my uh, GPS does not work. Um, we're still good to go. Let's try it again. <laughs> uh, my motor wire probably came loose. So let me get this adjusted just a little bit. All right, y'all. So before I even think about continuing on, uh, my motor seems to be pretty hot. But actually, it's not. Look at that. That's pretty good. It actually feels hotter than what it is. So I'm going to get this stuff restrapped in here and we're going to try to run this one more time. So let me get this set up. I told y'all this is a mess, but we're going to keep this running. All right, y'all. Last try, last run. 93 miles per hour is what we're still at for our top speed. Battery still got some charge on it a little bit. They should have at least 50% or so. We've only, well, we've been doing some high speed runs too, so. And the motor temps are good. I'm actually surprised and impressed that they were. This is going to be very interesting after that tumble we just did. Um, but anyway, let's go. He's trying to lift up. He may be picking up some speed, y'all. Let's uh, go down one more time. Probably should have took this wing off. Sound like one of my tires may have hit the ground. Um, let's let's get this back and then. Full throttle almost right there. I think I may have damaged one of my tires. That's why you guys hear that noise. Let's get this on back though, because we are doing some long runs with this. That time I caught it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna bring this on back down. I'm pretty happy with 93 miles per hour. I don't know about you guys. Um, definitely has a lot of potential to go faster probably still at the 93 miles per hour which we are i'm pretty satisfied with that guy so this is probably um no tires seem to be i just hear that rubbing a little bit um tires seem to be fine nothing's wrong with the tires are a little warm somewhat but uh it sounded like one of them like right there you guys see what that's kind of worn that's probably when i flipped and i was still in the throttle and that tire actually probably hit the ground but 93 miles per hour. There you guys go. Um, I believe this could probably go about 95 to 96 miles per hour. Um, maybe with some adjustments. This is still stock suspension on it. Um, I still got a little bit added weight because I didn't even take out the regular speed control. I just strapped everything in real quick just to get this running. But I am pretty impressed with uh, 93 miles per hour. Smaller tires and wheels than you would probably normally put on a speed truggy for it but these held up good i think that this just got a little damage just when i did that flip which i, I don't think it did i know it did because i can even feel it even this part of the rubber <laughs> is actually hotter than the rest of the tire but that's good i mean i think if you take off um these mud guards in the back let a little let a little bit more air just kind of flow through and probably lower this down pretty much a little bit more and stiffen the springs up or stiffen the shocks up you'd have a pretty good speed truck. You can definitely hit 100 miles per hour. Don't know if I'll try to do that anytime soon. Um, if I do, I'll have to make some adjustments to this. And maybe I'll try it in a couple of weeks or so. But did want to let you guys know that this is capable of 100 miles per hour um, out the box. Well, I'm not going to say out the box, but with a couple of modifications to it. Smaller spur gear, 25-2 pinion gear. I told you guys that I did have to cut um, into that uh, guard that goes over the uh, this uh, the center diff and stuff to actually fit a 25 two pinion gear. And if not, you can only fit a 23 in there if you want to leave that in there. But that's pretty good, pretty good. So anyway, guys, uh, put your comments down below. Um, I know I can do things to improve this. I I know you guys can come. Oh, take your wing then, but guys, I know all that. I kind of wanted to run it like this because most people that get this vehicle are probably going to do things like that. But if I took the wing off, stiffen the shocks up take these mud guards off um, and maybe some minor tweaks actually put the speed controller in there and not kind of tape it around um, this is definitely going to be a hundred miles per hour uh, probably about a 101 so so far so good I may do that I may not I don't know but anyway put your uh, comments down below <laughs> body's messed up but it did take some hits and it survived I think my rear dog bone let's see no it's not bent it's just dirt a little dirt right there um, it's 
squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. So I might have to clean this up too. But put your comments down below, guys. It's going to be time to do some uh, bashing with this. Take it to the BMX track. I saw some off-road fields. I want to run this at too because that's kind of what this is meant for. And then we'll get back to speed at some point in time. So thanks, guys, for watching.